right there. Woo! All right, who's gonna win? This side is kind of low. Who's gonna win? From this place, I was never gonna go to a hackathon after my after my first experience. But like, this is totally changed it for me. Everybody's helping everybody. Everybody has something to teach to everybody. I have never seen so many people like me in one setting for technology in my life, and I'm 46. Finding other people who are like me and being able to connect with them, it makes you feel like you belong a little bit more. A lot of people that feel left out in other hackathons where they don't think they fit in the hacker culture. And when they come to Hackfest, they feel very welcome because everybody's so different, uh, everybody's included. It just seems like a place where you can create. It just seems like a place that you want to look into what, what, are, what are you doing, what's he doing. It's a lot of organizations that claim diversity, that claims inclusion, but put on events of this magnitude and charge on um, a big fee for it. Um, for us, you know, we throw on events like this because those that can pay for it will probably not be around um, these events. I'm Erica Kinson and I have the distinct Pleasure of moderating today's conversation about diversity in the tech industry. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I didn't think I wanted to be a developer because I was like, oh, you know, there aren't people like me who develop, right? There aren't people. The structures that are already in place aren't doing the work that needs to be done to make sure that companies, whether they're tech or non-technical, are as diverse as the people that they serve. Beyond just hacking, diversity panel, we integrate into the program. It's important to see a reflection of self. And also we integrated the higher mixer as a way to really introduce great candidates and great talent to great tech companies. We do have software engineering opportunities. Once this event's over on Monday, we'll give them a stack of resumes and say, these are the people that came to Hackfest. And then they'll go through the resumes and start processing your information and reaching out to let you know if they're interested in having a call. Yeah, you're welcome. Please do take anything that you I was literally faced with the line to the back of the room for the entire hiring mix. I literally started out at an IT help desk, and then I went from IT help desk to a mom and pop law firm to Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster to VMware. I'm really astounded at how much talent is in the room. So it just seems like there are so many opportunities here rolled into one in addition to the hacking. It seems like the hacking almost isn't even half of it, but. Talent and brilliance is uniformly, equitably distributed, but opportunity is not. So how can we pair opportunity with equally distributed brilliance to create magic for everybody? Like, super amazing. So it's like, kind of gives me power feel, like a superpower girl. Yeah, I love it. In first place, Pulse. What we're trying to engineer here at Inza Academy is how can we take the broader ecosystem of technology with the companies and the classes and all of the different things to experience and bring that down into a microcosm, a nice pretty package so that a student, whether they're in college or in high school, can come through Inza and they get a taste so that when they go back out into the real world, they've been exposed and they can know where they want to go deeper.